Hey y'all, what a day. Got, uh, got some major stuff accomplished today. Well, one major thing accomplished today. So uh, yeah, let me share that with you. Hey guys, yeah, I, uh, let's see. Started out, went to town. I went to get a firewood permit and from the uh, Forest Service office over in Bedford and got over there and the office is still closed down. So I don't know if they're still doing the free firewood thing or not. They had been doing a, a permitless or a free firewood deal. You can go up into the forest, in Hoosier National Forest, and cut firewood. You're limited to how much you can get. But uh, usually you can get a permit, a three month permit for 20 bucks that allows you to get, I think up to two cords of wood. And you can do that twice in a year. And, uh, and But they'd had that because the coronavirus had been free up until July 25th. But with because they said the office was closed, well, the office is still closed, so I have to call, call them and see. Anyway, I was over in Bedford, so I picked up a bunch of stuff, and I uh, got a microphone so I could do my application project for this job I applied for. Got that, and it went. Uh, my project finished out went well. I turned that in. Then um, got a battery for the Farmall Super A, my cultivating tractor. Got it installed, and uh, it started right up and purred like a kitten. As I said in my Facebook post, it purred like a 75-year-old kitten, but it came right to life and was doing good. Still too wet, really, to get out and do anything with it. It rained again today, which not complaining about that because I can see stuff perking up from the rain, so that's good. Uh, but the big project I got done is progress on the high tunnel. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. So this is a so this is a 30 foot wide by 70 foot long. And then up to the peak, it's 13 feet um, uh, high tunnel. So high tunnel is sort of like a greenhouse. It, 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 conceptually, it's it's a lot like a greenhouse. So there'll be plastic that goes over the top of this uh, to um, do season extension. The difference between the main difference between a high tunnel and a greenhouse is that in a greenhouse, you typically have tables and you're starting plants and sell you know selling them in container. You're, you're, you're starting plants in containers maybe hanging baskets and stuff like that. You're not growing in the actual ground. But in a high tunnel, you actually grow in the ground. And you would grow like tomatoes and peppers and cucumbers and, and whatever um, you'd want. There's certain varieties of tomatoes and cucumbers and stuff that are adapted for growing in a high tunnel. Uh, and really the purpose of this is soil conservation and um, season extension. So I'll be able to put plants in this probably starting in February and so that process will look something like I heat up in probably December the greenhouse um, and I don't have to heat all of it that's a that's a whole process but maybe we'll take you guys through that um, if this winter um, that would be a great time to do it while I'm actually doing it so I'd start up the greenhouse and get it going in probably late December and get plants started and grow them out so then i would transplant them into here in february with the plastic and everything on it it'll it'll be warm enough to grow the plants uh, hopefully late february early march and then i'm harvesting uh, the produce um then you know really early in the season and hopefully it'll allow me to be you know one of the first people to market with with uh, tomatoes and peppers and the different stuff like that there are options for heat but i'm not going to get into that at, at this point i'm just going to get it up and running so the big thing I got done today was I got all except for the very end wall truss up. Uh, so there's 15 trusses here. I got 14 of them up today. The reason I didn't get the last one up is because I don't have it ready to go up yet. Um, this end wall truss, you can see I've got some stuff hanging off here for the, um, the metal studs uh, for the end wall and some bracing and some stuff like that. So. Uh, I need to do that with the other end wall, but my tractor's all set up for it. In fact, I've got some video of setting one of the trusses, so let me go over that now. Intro. I've uh, got a call from the National Conservation Resource Service earlier, checking on my progress of the high tunnel, and uh, told them, you know, a couple weeks maybe, fingers crossed, and uh, they said that'd be fine. We'll set something up to arrange the grant money payment thing there. And I also explained to them I couldn't do wildfire patch patch I was uh, I got six hundred dollars or so to do I think around the edges of my property it totaled up to about half or three quarters of an acre I don't have to look uh, just doing it in a native wildflower patch and they'd pay six hundred dollars for seed 
as long as you, you know, do the work and all that stuff. And going into the fall, I was pretty much on track and uh, sort of stopped working on it in the winter because you really want to plant the seeds in spring. Well, I was pretty busy in the spring. So I explained that to her and she looked it up and she said, hey, that's not a problem. You've got you know, all of 2021 to get it done too. So that was pretty good news. So I can still go and uh, track on that project. So you might wonder why I've got my helmet on. Um, it's because of this. I've uh, rigged a contraption, uh, AKA battering ram. It's a, vertically, it's a lift mechanism for tr trusses. Uh, horizontally, it's a battering ram, although I don't know how much battering it could do. So I uh, was moving that around, said, you know, I really probably better get my helmet on. So I'm gonna see how well this goes. You might not see this video if it doesn't go well. Take two, accidentally got the camera turned off or something the first take. So what am I doing? Um, so I got an old scrap piece of board and drilled some holes in the side of my bucket. I got to, to town today and got some bolts to attach it down at the bottom there. And uh, that's just the right height that I can stand one of these up and catch it in the middle on that board that goes out like that. And then I gently pick it up and make sure it's all centered. And then I back up and move around and slowly take it over and I'll set it in place. I got eight trusses set so far. I've got seven more to do, so I'm more than halfway there. Makes me uh, happy, happy, happy. And uh, man, every time I'm setting one of these in place, I'm like, oh, is it gonna work? Oh, come on, and then it works. I'm like, yeah, love it when a plan comes together. So uh, getting this done, so yeah, let's see. Let's take you guys on this uh, trip. I'll try not to turn the camera off this time. These things are, they're heavy, but I can pick them up, but they're just so gosh darn awkward. There's no way you could manhandle it. A little, bit of, uh, a little bit of thunder. Yay, it's okay, I've got my helmet on. So this isn't exactly centered. So I'm gonna pick up on this side. I'll get it up over my, my thing now. All right, so, hey, the sun went away. So that's not centered, so it'll hang over really bad on one side. So what I need to do is lift it up a little bit and uh, with the tractor and I can move it. Yeah. Cue the noise. this it goes up and down like this so as I go up I have to make adjustments to keep it level you guys will probably see me stop and it'll go forward it'll go up some more it'll go forward so that's what I'm doing the key to this is trying to just go slow and not let anything swing around too quick but even going slow, it's a lot easier and quicker than trying to drag these things over to put them in place. I can drag them, I know that.
Bedford. Looks like that one coming out of Bedford might get this way. It's just it formed up over the east side of Lawrence County. Right here the last two days. So uh, doing a lot of good for growing. And it's not really been dolly washer, so it's not flooded out anything. I'm trying to get around that post over there. Get this side of the tractor over here, left side of the tractor, lined up with the center of the high tunnel. And then in theory, it's going to all line up and be just perfect. But so far, it's gone pretty good. able to, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, I was able to take that to this end, it was just swinging around and get it set on the top of the post, and uh, with that set there, then I know if I'm lined up enough, and it looks like I am, one thing I try not to do is walk underneath that, I got a helmet on, but I sure don't want to have to worry about getting hit when one of those falls, alright, I'm not lifting it, I will, Lift it with El Tractor. All right, my other side came off, but that's okay. Sometimes that happens. Alright, now I'm getting this one on here. There you go, same thing. I'll try and lift this up a little better this time. gone ahead and slipped all the way down which is fine I'm pretty close on this one so you can tell from this side on this truss to that side's 30 feet and uh, we got pretty close on these but oh. Whew, that's a little effort sometimes so now I got it on here I'm going to push, push forward with the bucket a little bit, tip it forward a little bit. Now that's lined that up pretty good. And I'm off the truss there, so... There we go. Six more.
might be able to tell that was a yeah it was sort of a bit of a, of a job but with the tractor and how i had it set up it worked pretty good and it's still set up like that i haven't taken it apart so when i tomorrow i'll get out here and i'll get that last end wall truss set up and ready to put up i'll put it in place and then i'll be ready to put on the sideboards and the c channel for the plastic and the drop walls and um, get the end walls started put into place so with with the truss project a part of the project pretty much out of the way and done i can sort of now hit fast forward and um and i can continually work on this until it's done and that'll be awesome I had a friend of mine who's doing the same type of project over near the bloomfield area we've been talking on and off and comparing notes and stuff like that she said uh, she invited me over to help her put her plastic on probably friday or saturday and then uh, she said in return you know we'll run over to your place when you're ready to pull your plastic and help you out too so go over there and learn a little bit from them and help them out and uh, be able to apply some of those experiences right back over here so that's it oh so one of my friends from where i used to work at um, one of my work colleagues my partner in crime as i call her she uh sent me a message today and um because i'd sent her a message a few days ago she she was on vacation she said hey sorry for getting back to you uh not getting back to you right away but on vacation wanted to unplug which i understand that totally and uh and spend time with the kids stuff like that but uh, long story short, she is on the beach drinking margaritas, and since she sent me that message, I can't get my mind off a frozen strawberry margarita. I don't think I'm going to go to town, but I might have to pick up the ingredients for frozen strawberry margaritas tomorrow and have me a frozen strawberry margarita. So anyway, pretty good day on uh, Christopher Farms. Appreciate you guys watching, and if you haven't subscribed yet, I greatly encourage you to do that. You can click the uh, subscribe button down the down at the bottom uh, if you'll see my head over there or it might be over there you can click on it and subscribe as well and if you haven't clicked thumbs up yet if you click thumbs up i highly appreciate that and if you hey if you have a comment you have a question put it down in the comment section and uh, i'll try and get to it as soon as i can thanks guys I'll catch you on the next one